Hi everyone! In this video I am going to show you how to make this quiet book C page. There are four waves, or I should rather say pockets, where you can put some sea animals or for example boat with a seaman or whatever you like. And here is the back side of the page. Please explore my YouTube channel. Here is a playlist with 9 videos on how to make felt sea creatures. These animals would be nice addition to our today's project. Here is the list of materials and tools I am going to use. This time I have prepared a PDF pattern as well as written instructions. And it is already available for my patrons on Patreon and on my Etsy shop as well. So let's get started! Cut the project pattern and assemble the pattern pieces by lining up the markings. Size of the assembled fifth detail should be 21 by 21 cm. I am going to use this lightweight iron-on fusible interfacing. Draw the pattern pieces directly onto the glue side of your interfacing. and cut them out. Press the fabric to remove any wrinkles. Then take the first interfacing piece and fuse it to the wrong side of your fabric, leaving seam allowance along the curved edge of the detail. Repeat this step for the rest of the details. Fuse the fifth interfacing piece to the wrong side of your fabric. Seam allowance is not required. Take your fused fabric piece and place it onto the lining piece with the right sides together. Clip and stitch close to the interfacing edge. Back stitch on both ends. Trim the seam allowance with pinking shears. Or you may use your ordinary scissors, clip 
V-shaped notches along the curve, it is required to reduce bulk. Turn it right side out and press the top edge. Top stitch the detail 2 mm away from the seam. Trim the excess fabric. Prepare the rest of the details the same way. Now the waves are ready. Next step is to add the sea plants and the stones to the first wave. Place the pattern onto the felt piece and tape it with the transparent self-adhesive tape. Cut it out. Transfer the pattern markings to the detail using an erasable pen. Put it onto the piece of darker felt and make a stitch following lines on the pattern. Cut around the edge one or two millimeters bigger than your sea plant detail. If you like, you could skip adding a second layer of felt if you feel it isn't necessary. Once the sea plant is all ready to go, you can sew it to your first wave using a zigzag stitch. When complete, place the first stone on top of the sea plant and sew around the edge. Place the second stone and sew it as well. Repeat these steps for another sea plant. Now 
we can attach our waves one by one to the fifth detail. But first we need to transfer pattern markings onto the detail. Put the marks using an erasable pen. Attach it to the fifth detail, matching up the markings. Once everything is all lined up, clip all layers together and sew it in place following the marking line. And the same for the third wave. Transfer pattern markings onto the detail, clip them together and sew it in place. Please make sure that the edge of the underneath detail is visible at least 5 mm away from the seam. And the same for the second detail. Transfer pattern markings onto the detail, clip them together and sew it in place. Make sure the edge of the underneath detail is visible at least 5 mm away from the seam. Take the first wave, line it up with the bottom of the second detail.
clip them together and sew around the perimeter of the project. Seam allowance 8 mm. When complete, trim excess around the edge. The size of the finished project is 20 by 20 cm. And you are done! I hope you enjoy making this project with me! Have a nice day! Bye!